Hello there and welcome to another photo adventure. Today we're on the Isle of Mull and we're up at a beautiful little waterfall called Ears Falls. I think I've got that right, I'm not sure. Um, it comes down in about three sections this, so some beautiful gnarly oaks around it as well. So give me a second and I'll go find a composition and I'll talk you through it. Look at that, absolutely stunning. I'm going to try and align a little composition up now and I want to use this branch just as a separation between the water coming down at the top and the little waterfall part at the bottom. So the plan is to use this branch as a separation because there is a, a flat area that is quite boring. So I'm going to try and block that out with this branch just as a little bit of foreground tension there so I'll just get the uh, composition just per I'm just gonna work it 10-15 minutes and just fine-tune my composition where I am and uh, yeah the shots any good I will put it on right now So now just, just moving slightly, I'm trying to work the scene. A, a good tip for you is, when you get somewhere like this, when this has been photographed thousands and thousands and thousands of times, try to get something different if you can. It is hard to get that, but the waterfall and the area is so beautiful with these gnarly oaks. And what I'm going to try and do now is from a foreground, rather than foreground being on the f towards the bottom of the image looking up at the main subject, I'm going to try and use this top limb as a foreground at the top of the frame and then looking through at the waterfall. Um, it does look beautiful here. I've got a polarising filter on just to cut some of the reflected light off the, the water down in the uh, bottom of the frame. And uh, yeah, the scene looks stunning. So I'm going to try and get this I may even work it a little bit more, but I am liking the composition I've got now with this top branch, just up here, and uh, the bottom branch is in as well and you're looking through, but because the top branch is closer, that is going to be the foreground, and the background is going to be at the bottom of the frame, rather than the other way around where you'd have a foreground at the bottom and then leading up. Um, again, there are, there are no rules with composition. Um, if something looks really good to the eye and you like it, you take the shot, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. And if it turns out any good, or as good as I think it's going to, here it is. So again, pretty much the same composition with the tree at the top as a foreground as well as now we've got the rock at the bottom and the second branch. Um, but I'm shooting this as a vertical. There is a nasty little area where you've got a little bit of sky so I might just clone a couple of little leaves in. I'll just show you the back of the camera with this vertical shot. So as you can see for this shot, the little area of sky there I'm not liking, it's just a grey sky and there's nothing there at all. But I'm focusing, I'm doing a focus now, I'm focusing on the tree there, on the waterfall there, and then on the rock down the bottom. I have just turned the polarizer to get some of the glare off and backed it back up again slightly just to bring just a little tiny bit of glare back. See so you can see the movement in the water there. Settings for this, ISO 100, F11, and that's giving me a fourth of a second looks absolutely beautiful 
So I hope you can hear me now with the noise of the waterfall. Again, I've just come up a little bit higher. We have this now beautiful gnarly oak tree coming out and the waterfall. Um, I'm going to try and line this composition up with the waterfall to over towards the right hand rule of thirds. I want to try and get this tree onto the left hand line on the rule of thirds. So you can see the water coming in from the right exits out bottom left. So it should be pretty good. Um, I'm just going to fine tune the scene. Um, and yeah. I'll talk you through the back of the screen, two minutes and I'll have it done. So, for this shot, I am lining up the uh, waterfall coming down in the right hand rule of thirds. The tree comes along and bends into the frame, pointing towards the waterfall. Absolutely perfect. Got this right on the line of the rule of thirds and then exiting out bottom left. So you're also using a diagonal line coming through the shapes, there's everything there, form, everything um, It looks absolutely beautiful, I am loving this composition I think I may just literally try and balance a bit more That looks better So I've got the waterfall just over into the right hand rule of thirds The tree is now just over into the left hand rule of thirds um, I'm quite happy with this shot. So I've just moved down a little bit farther to the to the next the lower fall to this. And just watch where I'm stepping, I don't fancy falling in here. Um, I'll just turn you around and show you with the camera. We have this beautiful little drop, there's a little bridge, the road bridge up the top. And then we have this beautiful little drop here which comes down into this pool and then runs off and it's actually dropped down then into the sea, into Loch the Keel um, beautiful, I bought my drone with me to fly it but the wind has really got up strong now I've just looked at the DJI app and it is saying I think we've got nearly 30 mile an hour winds now so it's a bit too much for the drone it is gusting really bad um, I don't think I'm going to take a photo of this here, it'll be quite exposed and there is a lot of movement in the uh, in the leaves on the trees I think they are going to look a bit too blurred so I think I'm going to leave this shot um, I can always come back another time I'm say my sister has just moved on to this island and bought a B&B &B, so I can come back any time now so I think I'll get this part here on a, on a calmer day and um, yeah, so just look at that. Four's ears, ears force waterfall. I'll I'll put it, I'll put a little title on now, so I can just to show you what it is. Ears fours, I think it is. Um, absolutely stunning. It's on the road from Ulver Ferry, heading up towards Derby, and beautiful, beautiful. I love it here. So that's it for this waterfall, um, I'm going to move on, so I shall end this little video now, um, just look at the scenery behind, this is Loch Lakeel, um, this waterfall, the bridge is beautiful, again you can just get this little bit of uh, cascade coming over here with the bridge in the foreground, or in the background I should say, looks incredible, absolutely stunning it is, stunning. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you come to the Island Mall, you've got to come and do this one. It is absolutely amazing. Please subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I want to thank everybody who is subscribing and following us. Um, unfortunately, Betsy isn't with me today. I, um, I've helped my sister to relocate to the island and she's got cats. So I couldn't bring Betsy. I couldn't have four cats and Betsy in the car. It would have been an absolute nightmare coming up the motorway <coughs> so Betsy's at home at the moment sorry Betsy but you will be coming very shortly we've got to come back I think in two weeks to help move some rest the rest of the stuff up here so hopefully Betsy will be up here, up here with us then um, yeah there's a link down below to all the gear that I use um, 
if you like these images, I do like, there's one in particular with the trees as the foreground, especially at the top of the frame. Um, if you like it, drop me a comment and let me know what you think. Just try and miss this little bit of a bog here. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon. I'm going to have a drive around the island and try and find something else to photograph now. Um, so there will be another vlog on literally straight after this one. And until next time, here's the photographs and take it easy.